Okay, so the accepted wisdom is that shrinking transistor sizes will make our CPUs perform better and consume less power. And this has generally been true. But if you were to talk to someone with an AMD-based computer who's been waiting to upgrade, you might not know it. As Team Red hasn't given us a noteworthy update of their flagship CPU line since 20 freaking 12. Meanwhile, Intel has been giving us new architectures and die shrinks fairly regularly, leading to decreased market share for AMD, who I guess you could say hadn't risen to the challenge. But all of that, presumably, is about to change. Yes, my friends, that bad pun in the topic of today's video, AMD's all new Ryzen CPUs is here. And AMD is hoping that it'll give Intel some real competition and consumers some actual choice in the processor market for the first time in a long time. But what makes Ryzen special and how does it stack up against the best from Team Blue? Well, although AMD hasn't backed down on their philosophy of cramming eight processor cores onto a single consumer level chip, this time around, it looks like there's a much greater focus on single threaded performance. Big news for both gamers and well, people who use their computers for all the other common tasks that don't often leverage multiple CPU cores. AMD claims that its top-end Ryzen chip, the 1800X, beats Intel's latest enthusiast chips, Broadwell E, in single-threaded tasks, while lagging a few percentage points behind Kaby Lake, which we found to be generally the truth in our independent testing, which you can check out for yourself right here. But how did they do that? Well, aside from shrinking their transistors to 14 nanometers, on par with Intel now, AMD has baked in a lot of smart features, such as neural network-like branch prediction functionality, in which the CPU examines data patterns to read ahead on the page, so to speak, better links between the cores and the CPU cache, allowing the cores to decode things concurrently and thus turn instructions around much more quickly, faster and more granular switching between clock speeds, which AMD calls precision boost, individual voltage curves assigned for each chip at the factory, and AMD's new Infinity Fabric interconnect for faster communication between the CPU and components like memory, graphics, and down the line on their server platform, other CPUs. And gone are the days of cores sharing crucial resources, a design choice that hobbled AMD's old FX series chips that shared a single floating point unit between two cores. Ryzen has truly discrete cores, and what's more, they've got simultaneous multi-threading, which is similar to Intel hyper-threading technology. <gasps> Add in greater power efficiency, overclocking enabled on every chip as long as you pair it with a B or X series chipset motherboard, and native support for modern features like USB 3.1 10 gigabit, PCI Express 3.0, DDR4 memory, and NVMe for fast solid state storage, and Ryzen looks like a winner. But wait, how can it be a winner if it still isn't consistently outperforming an i7-7700K? Well, unsurprisingly, the answer to this question comes down to price. The structure of the Ryzen lineup uncreatively borrows from Intel. At the high end, instead of an i7, you get a Ryzen 7, which at this time is an eight core, 16 thread product targeting high-end gamers, streamers, and creative professionals. Stepping down to take on the i5, you get, you guessed it, Ryzen 5. But instead of being limited to four cores with no SMT, AMD's lineup in this price range will include four and six core solutions with SMT. Whoa. Moving down the stack, Ryzen 3 looks poised to deliver Core i5-like performance at a Core i3-like price, 
So no SMT, but with four physical cores, it should be very competitive, given that unconfirmed pricing leaks indicate it'll be starting at about 129 US. So then is Ryzen right for you? Well, that depends. Do you like spending less money? Okay, but seriously, it's not that simple. Do keep in mind that on the other side, Intel still edges ahead in performance in many applications and offers some platform exclusive features not found on Ryzen, such as Thunderbolt 3, Optane memory technology, and a maximum of 40 PCI Express lanes compared to Ryzen's 24. But if your workloads benefit from more cores and you don't want to spend an arm and a leg to get the absolute highest benchmark scores or render times, Ryzen just might be appealing enough to find a home in your next PC, especially if developers who have been understandably focused on Intel for the last five years or so really start optimizing games and programs for AMD's all new architecture. And regardless of who you ultimately buy your CPU from, a quality chip from AMD probably means Intel will be forced to get more aggressive. A good thing for everyone. Unless, of course, you're the type of person who eats big plate small food dinners six nights a week. Do you ever find yourself running out of time as a freelancer or a small business owner? Well, you're not alone because thanks to the internet, there have never been more opportunities for the self-employed and FreshBooks accounting software is all about making it easier for you to work the way you want without getting all tied up in little numbers things here and you know, little accounting details there. It's all about making it easy to be more productive be more organized and, perhaps most importantly, get paid more quickly. You can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can get paid on your schedule. So with online payments, with just a couple clicks, you can get paid up to four days faster. You can take deposits. You can see when your client has seen your invoice and put an end to that. Hey, did you get that? Oh, no, I didn't. Can you send it again? Hey, do you have it now? Pfft, that sucks. So FreshBooks is offering a 30-day unrestricted free trial to our viewers to try it out and find out just how much easier you can make your life by, you know, having an easy way to keep track of your expenses, for example. Just head over to freshbooks.com slash techquickie. We've got that linked in the video description and enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching, guys. Dislike or like, leave a comment if you have suggestions for future videos. Um, subscribe, do that.